this question 36 is a very standard question of Young's double slit experiment and uh, the expression which has been asked here i max minus i minimum upon i max plus i minimum it is a standard formula that is this 2 under root n upon n plus 1 but still if you want to prove it then remember let us suppose the two current sources have the amplitude ratio a by b so i can say a by b is nothing but under root n which is given to you because this is intensity ratio is n given so amplitude square is intensity now what is i max i max is simply you can say proportional to a plus b whole square and i minimum proportional to a minus b whole square upon this is a plus b whole square plus a minus b whole square so if you solve it you will find this is uh, 4 ab isn't it and this side it is twice of a square plus b square so what i am doing it since the ratio is like this for a let us suppose i am substituting under root n and for b i am substituting 1 so this is now 2 n plus 1 this is the way it is so ultimately it comes out to be 2 under root n upon n plus 1 so that is what I was saying this is a very standard formula uh, used for this expression. So that is the answer to question number 36. Now let us switch over to next question that is question 37. In this uh, question 37 it is based on uh, optics and geometrical correction of human eye. It says that a person can see clearly objects only when they lie between 50 centimeter and 400 centimeter from his eyes. The range of that person has been given in order to increase the maximum distance of distinct vision to infinity. That means this 400 centimeter point it has to be shifted to infinity. That means if an object is kept at infinity its uh, image should be formed at 400 centimeter from the lens. This is the kind of correcting lens you have to use. Now they are asking the type and power of the correcting lens the person has to use. You do not have to do anything with this 50 centimeter. It is only the 400 centimeter point that has to be shifted to infinity. So here I am trying to say that he has to see the things of infinity. That means if the object is kept at infinity, its image should be formed at 400 centimeter. So minus 4 meter you can say. Now power of the lens that is what is to be calculated. So you will say use the equation 1 by v minus 1 by u is equal to 1 by f that is say power. So power is nothing but 1 by v minus 1 by u. Now what is 1 by v? So this is minus 1 by 4 and minus 1 by minus infinity. So that comes out to be minus 0.25 diopter. So this is uh, concave lens is not it? So you have to use concave lens of minus 0.25 diopter. This is what is there. So I will be marking answer 2 for this question answer will be 2 for this question 37. Now let us switch over to next question that is question 38. 